There are almost no complaints about the car body, galvanization reliably protects it from chips, and only chrome moldings, as well as branded emblems, suffer from winter salt, porridge, gradually becoming cloudy. Processing these details with special means pushes the problem away, but does not completely solve it. However, for two to three thousand rubles, dealers offer owners of cars that have come off the warranty to wipe off chrome with the six-month warranty. The good soundproofing of the cabin is not always spoiled by careful fitting of interior elements, many owners complain to dealers about crickets and, not finding understanding among the officials, solve this problem on their own. The noise comes mainly from the dashboard, steering column levers and rear doors, occasionally the driver's airbag mounts and the steering wheel creak. Causes criticism and the so-called film heated windshield. Unlike threads that work well even in a decent frost, the film can already fail at minus 10 zero C. However, glasses, alas, are not interchangeable, so the owners have to put up with its heating, slow operation. On some specimens, patterns in the form of snowflakes suddenly appear on the screen of the premium color onboard computer. However, this defect can only be seen from a very close distance, and this mystery of nature does not affect the readability of the display. On the trade winds equipped with electric folding mirrors, when the temperature drops to plus 5 zero C, the operation algorithm may seem strange, the mirrors do not immediately take the stowed position. We recommend not using this function at all in winter. Transmission. The basic six-speed mechanics is not only extremely selective in its work, but also very reliable. Some owners in winter complain about difficult switching from first gear to second. We advise you to simply wait until the oil warms up. After five to 10 minutes of driving, this problem disappears. Officially, only two modifications were delivered to Russia with the MCP, with a 122 horsepower 1.4 TSI and a 152 horsepower 1.8 TSI. However, in the secondary, there may also be manual cars imported from Europe with other motors. Traditional machines and B7 have disappeared altogether, you have to choose between pre-selected robots. The most reliable 6-speed DQ250 unit, the clutches of which work in an oil bath. But the 7-speed pre-selected DQ200, in addition to somewhat nervous work at low speeds, already with a run of 20 to 30,000 kilometers, may require surgical intervention. In the best case, it will be necessary to replace the actuator, mechatronics, in addition, you can get to the replacement of the clutch discs themselves. It is very curious that this spring, official dealers recognized Castrol synthetic oil as not quite suitable for this box and announced a recall campaign to replace it with mineral oil. For warranty cars, as well as for those cars, the owners of which passed routine maintenance at the dealer on time, this procedure is absolutely free. By the way, the solution to this problem is considered temporary, German engineers are hard at work on creating more suitable synthetics. Theoretically, all-wheel drive trade winds can get from Europe to Russia, in addition to the 300 horsepower gasoline version, the Haldex clutch could be found on 140 and 170 horsepower 2.0 TDI modifications, both with manual transmission and with 6-speed DSG. However, it is not easy to find such modifications in the secondary market, they are brought exclusively to order. Engines. The 1.4 TSI turbo engine does an excellent job of moving a fairly heavy car, and among the possible problems, the possibility of gasoline getting into the oil should be noted. Usually this ailment is observed in those specimens whose daily mileage in one direction does not exceed 10 kilometers. During this time, the motor simply does not have time to warm up to operating temperature. Mechanics advise to check the oil level more often and in the off-season, at temperatures below plus 10 zero C warm up the engine for up to 5 minutes. Running on gas and gasoline, the exotic 150 horsepower engine is, in fact, a modified twin charger, which is simultaneously equipped with a turbine and a mechanical compressor. Under the bottom of such a Passat there are three cylinders with a total capacity of 21 kilograms of methane, which, together with a 31-liter gas tank, provide a cruising range of almost 1,000 kilometers. Interest in this motor, judging by the profile form, is huge, however, the motor has enough problems. In addition to the retractable chain characteristic of a twin charger and its self-destructive damper, the motor may have problems with the tightness of the gearbox. In addition, many dealers are wary of the repair and maintenance of such machines. Against this background, a 152 horsepower engine looks most preferable, 160 horsepower in the European specification. 
excellent dynamics and moderate fuel consumption will clearly please the first owner, however, after the break-in, the engine may begin to eat up oil. If the consumption does not exceed 1 liter per thousand kilometers, this is not considered a malfunction. In addition, the timing chain can also be pulled out in the timing drive, and although the manufacturer claims that it is designed for the entire life of the car, with a run of 100,000 kilometers it must be preventively replaced. Much less common was a 2-liter gasoline turbo engine. In addition to the increased oil appetite, this power unit did not stand out in terms of technical problems. And if the predecessor could only notice a leak in the camshaft position sensor oil seal, then for the Passat B7, Volkswagen engineers changed the design of the assembly and, according to reviews on specialized forums, successfully solved the problem. A 300-horsepower engine, combined exclusively with a 6-speed DSG robot and an all-wheel drive transmission, is not available on the secondary market, although you can't call it problematic. And the 170-horsepower turbo diesel officially presented in Russia can be recognized as the most reliable. In Europe they also sell a 140 horsepower modification. The motor perfectly tolerates a cold start even in severe frost, calmly digests domestic fuel and demonstrates enviable efficiency. By and large, this unit has only one minus, rather noisy operation, accompanied by noticeable vibration. Chassis and steering. The Passat suspension can upset even the first owner, even with a run of 25,000 kilometers, the support bearings, the silent blocks of the front levers and the stabilizer struts, both front and rear, can give up. It is good that all of the above troubles can be seen by a characteristic knock. Dealers without a hitch change this assembly to a new one in the presence of knocks and play. It is gratifying that on the side a new rail can be bought almost half as much as from official dealers, part number, K1423055M. One way or another, before buying, you should definitely hang the car on a lift and carefully inspect everything. It's not difficult to find a reason to bargain for 100,000. And becoming the owner, you will have to be extremely careful. Official dealers, not without reason, consider bad roads and reckless drivers to be the reason for such an early failure of suspension parts. It turns out that not every used Passat can be a worthwhile purchase. An expired warranty forces a potential buyer to be much more careful when choosing a power unit, so it would be wise to bypass the technically complex modification with a dual fuel engine as well as cars equipped with a capricious 7-speed DSG robot with dry clutches. The 122 and 152 horsepower petrol versions with a manual transmission look relatively good. However, the most reliable 2-liter diesel engine, the most transparent history of which can be obtained from official dealers.